Well, this is the weekend wrestling fans have been waiting for. WrestleMania is in town before tomorrow's main event at the link. Fans packing the Wells Fargo Center for the WWE SmackDown. Action News reporter Leland Pender takes us there for all the excitement from those diehard fans. Oh, the show tonight was excellent. Fresh off the excitement of WWE SmackDown, fans poured out of the Wells Fargo Center Friday night. We saw the lights go out. We saw Jimmy Uso come out, beat up his brother, but then got the save by Cody Rhodes. Come on, what else do you need? Ahead of SmackDown, fans came decked out, donning costumes, jewelry, and wrestling belts of their own. WrestleMania 40 kicked off in the Wells Fargo Center parking lot in South Philadelphia Friday, just a few hours before WWE SmackDown. My favorite wrestler by far that I will be seeing is Seth freaking Rollins. I am a visionary. I am a revolutionary. I am Seth freaking Rollins. One by one, superstars made their way to the stage talking smack and trying to upstage their opponents. The crowd going wild for the show. So the WWE, they do spectacular shows. I mean, this is a show of shows. It's all building up to the main event this weekend when the Super Bowl of Wrestling takes place at the link. I'm really excited for tomorrow. Um, Sunday's going to be awesome, too. A lot of fans have been into wrestling for years. I'm a 41-year-old man who still comes to watch people fake fight. But for others, the love affair is just beginning. My buddy gave me an action figure one time in school, and that it just launched my, my entire life in wrestling. I just love it now. There is no age limit on the fun out here. And by the way, the economic impact on the area is estimated north of $200 million. In South Philadelphia, Leland Pinder, Channel 6 Action News.